Hey there guys, welcome back to 10 Give Vlogs. This is your 10 Give Vlogs here. I hope you guys are doing good and having a wonderful time guys. So as you can see, I'm just sitting beside my lovely N250 Pulsar. And that's written here, N250. And actually what I want was doing is I was actually planning a ride today but I did not go. Instead, I'm spending time to uh, clean my bike and... Uh, to improve uh, the looks of it so first things first what I have done is I have tried to use a permanent marker and then added this white color to the text that's present on the tire so it actually enhances the look of the tire as you can see yeah, the, there was a little bit of flow extra flow from the pen and then this will go away but yeah what I wanted to show is that I have added this white color markings to the text that were present yeah I've done this on both the side on the other side also and second point is that uh, today I want to clean the chain uh, and uh, lube it because it's been a while I think around 400 kilometers maybe since the last time I did it so that I'm going to do and I'm going to open the front cover and then we will see the front sprocket also so things we need actually to clean uh, and lube chain is basically this brush, then a toothbrush, then the cleaner, chain cleaner and uh, a chain lube. Yeah. So this is what we are going to do and to open the uh, front cover to see the sprocket we have a toolbox. So let's not waste any more time and let's just open the sprocket so I found the right set of uh, tool to open the bolt and uh, let's begin so we have to open this one last time also actually I opened it and cleaned it because that is uh, a complete proper way to clean the board, uh, clean the chain so you can see there will be three one two and the third one is here So now that we have opened it you can see the sprocket which is connected to the gearbox and the engine and if you see there is a lot of uh, lot of uh, oil and grease that is flowing from here and it goes all the way here you can see. I mean last time there was a lot of uh, yeah dust particle and uh, that was attached to the oil here this time it is very less as you can see it's still there you can see right it's still there but it's less because of the cleaning that I did last time so what we can do is maybe we can also use a brush to just clean it what will happen is if you do not clean this it will get accumulated here and then over a period of time it will be rubbing against the chain when the chain is rotating and that can cause damage to the oil rings on the chain and uh, to the chain itself so it's better that we clean it we can also use a chain cleaner here spray it a little and then clean it but I'm not doing that but that could be done 
if you want to do So what I've done is I've placed the carton box here so that the spray does not go all the way to the inside and I hope you can see it well right now I'm going to uh, sorry guys uh, it's very congested here and uh, I have to really so just shaking it up a little bit I'm also wearing a mask i hope you are able to hear me well uh, so now i will start to spray So let's begin, all right? sprayed it with the chain cleaner now I will just wait for some time and after that I will brush it maybe two three minutes I will wait and then I will start to brush it and then uh, we will see now I'm just going to put the chain here and see that it's locked properly and I'm just going to rotate the tires with hand so what this is doing is this is pulling out any dust that is on the chain and I'm just going to do it a couple of times yeah and then we will do it like this. bike wash would be very good but it's summer time water shortages and so not doing a bike wash today uh, so you can see all that black thing is then I'm going to just use the brush and then rub it once on the top and then on the bottom and on the side also and on the side also Similarly on the back side. Then what we need to do is we need to use a cloth and uh, then clean the chain completely. 
so anything that's on the chain will get sticked to the cloth and now in the same way like we did the chain lubing uh, cleaning uh, we have to apply the lube in the similar way all right so for that we will put the lube here and start rotating the chain see that the lube is applied at least once for the complete length I think we have applied the lube at least for once or twice the length uh, I always uh, prefer a little bit more as than just one chain length uh, just to be sure just to give it extra protection so that's it guys after this we will be uh, tightening up the sprockets cover on the front and this is how the chain lubing and cleaning is done so I hope you learned something today now you can see that the chain is looking better right alright guys so thank you very much for tuning in have a wonderful time take care love you bye